What's happening? It's Johnny Snow in the building. And today, we're going to talk about this CZ Scorpion 3 Plus Micro. This is going to be another episode of show parts list. Everything that I put on this gun, I'm going to tell you where I got it from. micro this is chambered in nine millimeter and this is the shorter version this is called the micro the other version you can tell the difference because of the slots this has two slots the other one has three all right the micro only has two slots and it comes from the factory with two of these 20 round magazines 20 round magazines so you know you can go order you the bigger ones if you prefer or, or you know you can run with the 20 right now i just have the 20 in there and we're going to talk about everything else i've done to this gun all right hold on let's switch view first off let's go ahead and talk about this brace this is a Komodo tail brace and um, folder, which both of these I got from Optics Planet. Komodo tail brace, as you see, is a short brace, and it fits onto a pick rail. And this is a Strike Industries replacement rear that I have. The replacement rear comes with the pick rail on it. And, you know, this, you know, there's a button on it that you push and it slides off and you can slide the new butt of the gun on. And I may be calling it the butt and it may be called something else, but I'm calling it the butt of the gun. This right here, the back of it. And I got that from Strike Industries. Well, I didn't get it from Strike Industries. I actually ordered it from Optics Planet as well. This, um... Uh, this attachment piece and then the rail. Now the actual brace itself or um, this part right here came from A3 Tactical. This is an A3 Tactical um, pistol brace right here. A3 Tactical. You can go there and you can find this there. And believe it or not, this is a lot more cost effective than like the tail hook and tail hooks are hard to find nowadays you can't find tail hooks so that is what that is a3 and from a3 and you can go there and find it and i put a loophole site on it and that's where i hit a stopping point because i am a firm believer in doing too much once you start adding all those weird colors or start just putting too much stuff on your gun then your gun turns into like an old you know car that they put too much chrome on it or they they just did too much to the car it's like why did they do that to that car same thing can happen to your gun stop 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 get to a point and stop leave it alone all right because this gun actually came from the factory awesome the sights that they have on here are awesome you have your sights where you can flip it and pick different sights you know if you want it i mean it is it is awesome i love this gun and it fires like it does i have not had a jam have not had a malfunction have not had anything go wrong with this gun so i would recommend this gun i would say get it and do the minimum to it you do not have to do a lot to this weapon it's an awesome 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 fire gun firearm it's an awesome firearm and you know let me say this i have taking all these guns on a journey and i am not the one who does does that hide it not show you where to get stuff at you can continue to check into these um parts list video 
and I'll break down everything that I have on my weapon so you yourself can go get things and do it the way that you want to do it. I'll just show you the place and you might see something else there that you like better and do yours a different way. But if you have not subscribed to this channel, go ahead, hit that like, subscribe, notification so you can follow the journey that I take all these weapons on. All right, Johnny Snow up out of here.